Hey there, everyone, Paradise Gamer 13 here, and as you can see, I am right outside the fur zone, basically where I left off. And so I figured, I guess I would come in here and uh, talk to some people, potentially buy some items and stuff. I think some of these people give you stuff. Like, I think she gives you a TM over here. I don't really remember what it is, but I think so anyway. Mail, okay, well, maybe not. Maybe she gives you mail. So, um, nonetheless, I guess I have some money. I don't really know what I would be using this money or this uh, this mail for, but uh, why not buy it? Do they still sell mail in like the current gen games? I honestly don't remember. I feel like they don't. Um, but it was like a, always an interesting mechanic. I remember like sending like mail to like people when I traded with them that I knew and stuff. It was just a fun little weird side thing. Also, why is there a, is that a base just kind of sitting there? Okay. Um, <laughs> nonetheless, there are a lot of, uh, that's supposed to be a shiny slip oak. I wonder if it's, I mean, I, I, like I said, I haven't been this far as in that much. Um, but I don't, I remember the vendors and stuff, but nonetheless, uh, I'm guessing this guy has all the, all the good stuff. Yep. All that stuff. The stat boosting items, that's what they're called. Um, I don't think Kangas Khan doesn't really do much. Uh, let's see what this bug catcher over here has. Hello, trainer from Jojo. I am the son of the Berry Master, and I came from the Hoenn region. Here, I'll give you a berry, just like my father would do. Received two Pashos. And I don't... Those... They they weaken one of the... Uh, oh, <laughs> speaking of berries, I totally forgot about that one orange berry. Whoops, I guess I better go check back on that. Um, is there... Yeah, there is a berry pouch. Let's see what that does. Um, lesson, super effective water types. Okay, I knew it did. I knew it was one of the you know weakening ones, but I couldn't remember which. Uh, let's see what she has to sell. I'm changing my supply every day. Do you want to have a look? Yes. I'm selling vitamins for top price. Oh, she also has them. Does she sell them differently or something? Aren't they normally 9,800? I, I'm guessing what she must do is she maybe sells... Yeah. Okay, so that's... A... Wait, on Monday. Okay. I don't... Yeah, okay. Interesting. Anyways, if you want to enter this fur zone, I'm older, I'll come back here. So I'm guessing... The, oh, bas oh, basically, I didn't get kind of distracted, I guess, and you're like, full I mentioned that. But I'm guessing that lady go away. Stupid... Hold on. There we go. Um, <laughs> I'm guessing that lady, her stock basically changes, probably, you know, depending on the day of the week. Um... Let's see, I think this is, I guess it's the last guy that, super strong, mega strong, mega, oh, sweet. I don't actually know that I'll teach anyone this, but, uh, let's see, oh, <laughs> totally forgot he was fainted. Um, I think Jinx can learn it, although there really would, would not be much point to that. I'm pretty sure for Alligator he'd probably learn it. Probably the only two really, because I don't think any of them, hmm, that's sad. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't mean to depress you so much there, but, uh, would need someone a little more worthwhile before I could, uh, before I do that. But anyways, I guess I better kill my Pokemon first before I do too much. I was about to say, where's the Pokemon? But then I realized I had to kind of redundant since there's all these little vendors here. I thought there was someone who sold the special kinds of Pokeballs here too, but maybe not. Like the Nest Ball and Moon Ball. Or, I mean, not the Moon Ball. Uh, why do all these. I need to turn off notifications whenever I. There we go whenever I do this stuff, because it's too known already. That kind of annoyed me. Anyways, trainers who often visit the Pokemon Center must really care for the Pokemon. Don't you think so? Sure. Well, do, do you have anything important to say? A trainer who has a rough path behind a Pokemon Center is just... Wait, what? A trainer who has a rough path behind Pokemon Center is... I feel like I'm not reading that correctly. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, I'll go ahead and get started on the Safari Zone. And see what's happening. I'm guessing as soon as I get in here, is that that seems like the warden right over here, but maybe it's not. Hey, it's just another general old guy. Yeah, okay, it's just another generic old guy, I guess. Because once we go inside here, I'm guessing Balba, I think this is his name, will probably run up. Unless maybe not. Maybe it's not completed yet. Hello. Welcome to the Safari Zone for the price. Oh no, maybe it is. Okay. I honestly couldn't remember. I remember one of the updates said something about the Safari Zone, but um. Awesome. Okay. 30 Safari Bells. Yes! That'll be 500. 30 Safari Balls. Store them in the Pokeballs pocket. 
Now follow me. I really wish you could just keep the safari zone or the safari balls and like use them first. Well, he's uh in the ground. This is the uh, most. Uh, actually, it might just be. I don't know what that is. I'll have to see. This is your first zone. This is the first zone of your safari adventure. Wish you good luck. Okay, the others. Is this water? What is this? Oh, or is this like um? I forgot the different zones or like you know different types of terrain. Maybe this is like a marsh kind of area. I bet. That would be my guess. Kind of what it seems like, I guess. That's pretty cool. I should, yeah, this is definitely a, uh, oops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> um, this is definitely like a marsh kind of area, I think. Throw mud and throw bait. So basically, for those of you, I guess, who, okay, um, have maybe not played through the Far Zone, um, in, like, any game, it's basically the same way that it works in, like, all the other games, and that, uh, your goal is you can't use Pokemon, um, but you can just kind of wander around. And encounter wild Pokemon. Let's see what this guy says first before we're doing a lot. Oh. No. Not yet. I'm curious though. I guess that means it's in our area. Well, I guess I can't go that much further. But anyways, you can either throw Safari Balls, you can throw Bait, or you can throw Mud. So Bait keeps Pokemon complacent. Um, I guess I'll do that because I don't need a Weeping Bell. Um, basically, you know, they just eat and it makes them more likely to stick around. Whereas if you throw up mud, it makes them mad and more likely to flee, like he did there. Um, however, if you throw mud at them, it makes them easier to catch, too. So that's something to keep in mind um, when you're doing this. And obviously... Oh, man. I'm just not having luck here. So, no, they don't always flee every time. That seemed awful fast. I kind of wanted that shuckle, too. That, that bumps me out a little. But anyways... Oh, here's a scyther. Maybe I can at least try to get him. Really? Come on. Anyways, though, uh, basically, yeah, so then you, and you only have a limited number of safari, ball, safari balls, so you, you know, you gotta watch, make sure you don't throw too many of them around um, without some planning. But anyways, though, you, basically the point is to try to find that right balance between using bait and using mud and, you know, when to throw the ball itself. So let's just see. Surely he won't... F really? Okay, I'm just getting a bunch of bad examples here, but you also, I think, have... Um, a time limit to how much you can stay around it, you know, or how many steps you can take, basically. There we go. So, uh, you know, if you succeed in throwing mud without making them too mad, they'll just say that they're angry, and basically it should make it easier to catch here. Obviously, that first fireball I threw at that Quagsire didn't do much of anything. This one should at least shake a couple times, if not catch it completely. It makes a pretty big difference uh, the more times you throw mud at it, in my opinion. At least, at least it seems to, from what I've done. So obviously, like, I caught a shuckle there. Um, transfer to the box, box one. So that's that. I think I'll try out one of the other areas now, um, which I think I can do by talking to one of these people here. Uh, oh, it's a Tangla. I don't think I have one of these either. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Um, and you can very well, some of the weaker Pokemon, I say it kind of tentatively, like maybe this Fungus, I might just be able to throw a Safari Ball and uh, catch him just like that. Maybe not. We'll see. Um, I really don't quite know why I'm explaining this, because I'm guessing the, the vast majority of my viewers are probably people who have definitely played Pokemon games before. But nonetheless, I felt like it, I guess it would be not necessarily maybe necessary, but somewhat practical to go over the basics of this. Um, yes, I've got two Pokemon from here. Curious to see what the other areas look like. This is the second zone for our adventure. I wish you luck, good luck on your adventure. Wow. Was this really a... I honestly... And of course, I didn't unlock that many uh, alternate areas. Because like I said, I really have not experimented that much with the, uh, the Safari Zone in, um, in uh, Hard Gold and Soul Silver. But um, I definitely do not remember the cloud level. I think I kind of vaguely remember one of the you know areas being a marsh area. Um, but I, I definitely don't remember this. This is actually really cool. It kind of reminds me, um, these, each little individual area, especially this one more so than the others, kind of reminds me of, like, the little, uh, habitats in, and I don't remember, I've only played the first, uh, Mystery Dungeon games, um, so I don't know if they're in the later ones or not, but there's, like, little habitat areas where the Pokemon live in. That's kind of what this reminds me of, more or less. Um where they would just kind of sit around until you decide which ones you want to use for the different uh, 
you know, dungeon crawling adventures. So nonetheless, actually, now that I think about it, one of the Mystery Dungeon games would make for a good, good playthrough at some point for a new video series. Although it'll probably be for a while, because obviously, yeah, it's going to take me a while before I finish this <laughs> this series, which will probably go on pretty indefinitely, um, considering the fact that there's constantly adding new content, you know, um, like the Twirl Force and stuff like that even, you know, stuff that you wouldn't necessarily expect. Also, I really want this far-fetched. I'm going to throw this fireball at it. And I may have a chance. It's not like a super... Usually like the higher evolutions, you know, you don't have... Okay. Higher evolutions and some of the, quote, rarer Pokemon can be kind of annoying to, uh, to catch because you really got to be more careful. I feel like Farfetch'd can be a little more rare. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's even more wonderful. Okay, well... Oh, whoops. Now I want to go up here. And see what's up at the very top. But yeah, anyways, I guess I was saying, talking about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, because it kind of reminds me, kind of reminds me of, like, the habitat areas, and it also kind of reminds me of, uh, the, um, the final level, I guess, technically, um, speaking, the, I don't even remember, the Sky Fortress or something like that? It's a place where Rayquaza is at, basically, um, because it's basically, like, all clouds, I think, and, like, the weather gets all crazy, which it's not here, obviously, but, um, that's just kind of the first thing I thought of, I suppose. Oh, speaking of Pokemon... Am I the only person, which probably I am, because it seems like a lot of people don't really care for Pokemon Fighters, um, but I'm like super pumped about that game. And granted, it's not even confirmed, not even confirmed to come out in the United States, technically, although it almost certainly will because it got an English trailer. Um, but it's also not even concerned, um, you know, potentially not going to come out to consoles, which would be weird. But again, I'm pretty sure that it will, because most fighting games, or a lot of fighting games anyway. Um, come out on arcades first and then come to, you know, console ports. Um, nonetheless, though, I'm, like, super pumped, and all I have to say is, obviously, um, the, uh, the, the, I think they said, um, they're going to be putting, uh, like, wide variety, not just fighting types, basically, um, in. So I'm really hoping that they will include maybe, like, some kind of more weirder choices, I guess you could say. Like, uh, I really want to see Pinsir. And, uh, like, Scyther. I was thinking mostly, a lot of the Pokemon I was thinking of were, like, mostly fighting types. And, or not fighting types, bug types, which is kind of a weird combination, I guess. But, uh, to have... But nonetheless, I feel like there's a lot of bug types that are more or less kind of, you know, would be good for a fighting game, per se. Um, you know, like Pinsir... Or, um, uh, Scyther was the other one I thought of. Um, because they said that there may be some Pokemon that are, like, not fully evolved either. And, like, I feel like Scyther would be pretty good, whereas, you know, like, Caesar would be kind of a weirder choice. And speaking of pop ups, I gotta get rid of this update thing real fast. I hate how my computer, like, occasionally throws up these, like, oh, your computer has to restart now to update. And I'm think there's I'm pretty sure there's a way to turn them off, and I just haven't done it yet. But nonetheless, let's see what the next area looks like, because it's probably taking quite a while. Actually, let me double check that. Okay, it's actually not that bad. Oh wait, no, I don't want you to stay up there. There we go. Um, basically though, because there's one thing I want to do at the end. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh, this must be like a mountain area. I'm guessing. Or, you know, like a... Oh, whoops. Okay, anyways, though. So, as I was saying, the, uh... Yeah, Pokemon Fighters. Looks really cool, and I'm, like, super pumped for it. Um, even though there's really not much confirmed for it at this point. But, nonetheless... Uh... I should probably actually talk more about things relevant to this game. Now there's no wild Pokemon attack. Oh, there we go. I was like, man, this is taking an unusually long time. I don't think I have a Doduo yet. Nope, I guess not. So I'll try to catch him. Then I think I'll go ahead and move on to the next area for the sake of saving time. But I do kind of want to see if there's anything else. Because, I mean, I've already seen some flying types, obviously, so far. Doduo is watching carefully with both its heads, probably, I'm guessing. Um. Yeah. 
<laughs> I have actually I haven't used the last time I used like a Doduo slash Dodrio in my party, I think was um the original Gen 2 games. I used it as my Pokemon to learn fly, which um was a bit unique, to say the least, compared to what I normally use. But oh yeah, I was gonna look for one more Pokemon in here. Before I Oh that that was much simpler the second time, that's good. Um Oh it's a Teddy Ursa. Speaking of Pokemon, I don't use much. I've never actually used a Teddy Ursa slash Ursa, Ursa Ring. Yeah, that's what it's called. I don't think in my party. Throughout any of my games. Of course, you normally don't find them until really late on in the game. Um, like up by Mount Silver, basically. So, I guess I can kind of attribute it to that. But, uh... The only, the only memory I have of Ursa Ring is... I think I used it in something like uh, I think like Coliseum or something maybe at one point and it did something with it I don't know it was pretty good but uh, that's really the only time I've actually used yeah so I guess technically I lied I have actually used um, her ring before but that was a long time ago uh, oh there's a tree so I don't know maybe the did the wild Pokemon come from these little puddles or are they I don't see any grass. Yeah, oh, maybe it's just in general. Ooh, it's an Azumarill. That's awesome. I'm just gonna throw some bait at you here. I'm gonna do one more. Dang it, I knew that was gonna happen. I was like, if you do it too much, it really doesn't matter all that much. But yeah, so that's that. I had to speed this up, the last couple of parts up, but uh... Wait, how many are there? Was there six? I'll try to, uh, like, at least fight one Pokemon in each area, but, um, I really have to- Oh, is that lava? Man, that's awesome. I'm guessing this is a volcano area. Yep, there's a Magmar. Uh, let's throw some mud at you. Dang it, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, well, it is what it is. Slugma, though. I bet I can catch him. And... nope. Okay, wow. Well, I guess he didn't seem to care too much. His face does look pretty angry, though. I don't know what it is, but his sprite just looks, like, really peeved. At least from when it was facing like that, when it's facing forward like that. But, uh... Nonetheless... Really? Okay, let's try this one more time. I used him at cargo once in one of my teams at some point. Don't know why I decided to throw that up there. Not that, not that anyone would care that I keep mentioning which Pokemon I used in parties and stuff like that, but I don't know. I guess it just felt like mentioning it because he was right there in front of me, but nonetheless, I've got quite a substantial amount of Pokemon. Um, more so than... I don't want to say more so than I anticipated, but... I always end up surprising myself, I guess, usually with how much I catch. Um, assuming I don't already have a lot of Pokemon in here, which in this case I don't, obviously. But, uh, yep, this is... Oh, this is the sixth zone? I thought we were back in the first one. Oh, uh, no, I guess this is a little bit... This is more like a forest, whereas the other one was basically like this, but with, uh... You know, like the swamp area. Um, so we got a Yanma. That'll be interesting to catch. I really need to, uh... Really need to speed this up here, because now I'm <laughs> getting down to the wire. Also, I like how speed, bo yeah, speed boost still activated. Um, despite having, uh, you know, not actually being in a battle, technically. Um, and, oh, cool. I got a Yanma. So, that's interesting. Oh, I didn't really... Let's just... Yeah. There we go. I am not creative enough to think of nicknames for every single Pokemon I catch in the Safari Zone here. <laughs> Um, because I've got quite a few. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I, I don't mind. Uh, what does he have to say? Because I forget, does he tell you how many, um, Pokemon you've caught? I guess I can always look in the PC and see. I think those guys just tell you, like, rules about the Safari Zone, so... Which is basically, I guess, more or less what I did, but whatever. Also... Yeah. Guess I can just switch that around. 
Uh, I forgot to switch them back too after the last fight. Not like it really mattered all that much. But anyways, if I go to my PC here, they should all be in my box. Let's host your connect to Bill's PC. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a solid. Uh, who's this one? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Pokemon. Eight Pokemon from seven different zones. So, I did I get one from every single zone? No, I don't think I did. I don't know that I got... Oh, I got two from the first zone. Two from the second. One from the third. I guess none from the fourth. Or... No, no, no. Two from the third. None from the fourth. Unless Sigma was... The, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember which ones are which. But nonetheless, uh, there's one more thing I'll do. So, uh, which I kind of wanted to make sure I had enough time for. So I will be right back. Okay, so basically, I'm back. By the way, probably should have started off with that. I'm back, and basically, the, the main thing I wanted to do... So it took me forever to find this, too. Well, okay, not forever. It took me literally about all of three minutes to backtrack. Um, but Darkfire... Um, I think this is what his name was. I'm pretty sure, yes. Um, he is uh, involved with the... Uh, development team of this game and basically he pointed out that I uh, he said I should check out one of the trees that looks suspicious or something along those lines for exactly what the comment was but it was something like that and um, basically I think I found it because I was kind of concerned I was like man I know I'm pretty oblivious to things I'm sure I'm gonna miss it again but it's good I guess it's this one that has this very switch looking object on it so let's see what happens when I oh oh all right so, Hidden Grotto. Now the question is, though... I don't have Headbutt. <laughs> um, actually, I think I might have the TM for it. I'm guessing that's probably the case. Um, it's going to probably have something to do with Headbutt. Also, I skipped over the TM. Yes. Alright, here we are. Uh, oh, yep, there it is. TM2. Who should I teach it to, though? I kind of want to teach it to uh, Weeping Bell. I don't even... He probably can't learn it, though, can he? No. Okay. Uh, can Pidgeot learn it? No. So it's probably going to have to be Don Fan, which I don't have a huge problem with. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. Okay. Um, I'll do that. Teach it to Don Fan. And... Let's just get rid of Assurance, because I can't... That's not really that good of a move, anyway. Um, I forgot I already taught him Strength, which kind of, yeah. But I, you know, obviously I can't delete that. Oh, wait. Can I not headbutt these trees? That's going to be awkward. <laughs> well. Um, I assume that's what I'm supposed to do here. Hmm. Let's see. Unless there's something on the ground. Of course, I managed to find this, and then I can't really find exactly what is in it. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, so it's a max potion. That's one thing. Oh! Oh, <laughs> I accidentally clicked on for alligator. I was like, what is that? But, uh, nonetheless. Oh, I keep clicking on for alligator by accident. Um, hmm. I like how I said Frogger is, you know, wandering around searching for something, which is exactly what I'm doing at this point, too. Uh, there's there's got to be something I'm missing here. I mean, with a place called Hidden Grotto, there's probably something more than just a max potion. Well, whatever it is, I just probably happen to be missing it. So, nonetheless, I guess I will just inspect it more, um... Hopefully, I guess, Darkfire, if you're seeing this, maybe you can kind of point, gently point me in the right direction a little more, even though, obviously, your last hint was pretty obvious <laughs> as it was. But nonetheless, um, as I would be more than happy to continue checking this out in the next part. This guy looks pretty cool, by the way. I really like the, uh, like the green sky that is in, like, in, like, the Safari Zone and the, uh, Twirl Forest and stuff. But anyways, I'm getting a little distracted. Um... And that is going to be it for this part. If you guys liked it, I would appreciate you hitting that like button and also subscribing to my channel if you haven't done so and you want to get notified of future content and stuff. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching.